Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here, and welcome back to more House Flipper. Going to be working on more of the luxury DLC today. Uh, today is my birthday, the day this is going up, and I just did not know what to play. Going to be 27 today. Uh, of course, I'm recording this a couple days earlier. So I just wanted to try to find something to record. Couldn't find anything like birthday related, which I was really wanting to do for some reason. As you can see, uh, the time I'm recording this on the 25th, but I love how that's uh, in real time. Anyways, let's go to the map of jobs, luxury flipper. Now in two weeks from now on May 12th, a new DLC is coming out for the game for the pets DLC. That is something I've been really looking forward to. So I'm trying to get the, whoa, I'm having issues controlling the map here. That's something I've been wanting to get to. I'm wanting to get through the luxury DLC so I can be on time for the pets DLC because I have never been on time for a DLC for this game. And as you can see from previous episodes, I'm super far behind. So we will do a warehouse for memories. When Lucia and Dan stumbled upon a port warehouse for sale, they saw potential for a trendy industrial loft right away. They've been looking for a bigger apartment for some time now and hope to ha finally have enough space to accommodate their gradually growing friend circle. A vision of their dream home is quite far, quite far away at the moment, but the couple believes this place will become their safe haven. Got it. Let's do it. The warehouse for dreams. Oh, we can see the yacht in the background. That's kind of cool. And this week is uh, Overwatch 2 PvP beta, so be sure to check that out on Twitch if I get access and if there's no it's lock to it. But I've heard you're a real miracle worker. I'm sure you will make this place habitable. Even if the last caretaker didn't make your job any easier. We like the roughness of the building though. This is supposed to be a grown up living space after all. We've always liked hanging out with our friends. And since we're getting a bit too old and tired for clubbing, we wanted to finally get an apartment big enough to sit around and enjoy our company comfortably. Looks pretty nice. Probably you had more experience with couples getting a bigger home to start a family, but it definitely is not our case. Child-friendly is not something you need to worry about while designing this place. Okay. It looks like you've got a lot of work ahead, so I won't take any more of your time. <laughs> Have fun! Man, I love this apartment's view with the uh, water in the background. But yeah, if I get access to that Overwatch 2 beta, be sure to check that out on Twitch. All the links are in the description below, as always. Because that's where I usually put my PvP stuff, or if I work on, like, I, I was working on Godlike Burger and doing that during stream as well. To unlock some things, so yeah. Check out the socials in the description below. But, let's go ahead and get this apartment in tip-top shape clean it up at least this one we can actually have yard work to do it looks like uh they don't want nothing done to the outside just cut the grass and remove the trash so that's pretty good i guess we'll work on the outside first and then uh move to the indoors Tell me something new You waited for someone to save you Left me all alone I wanna tell you something new You drove us both into a wall But the only person
cleaned up everything, I think, and did the outside. Outside's looking good. I love the view of this place. Hopefully they never get heavy rain because that, this seems like it'll be a big flooding issue. But, uh, I think we need to build walls right here. I think that's what the green is. And I can't look down, so I'm going to just assume I got to build walls in that area. So, build walls. All right, there. Right. Just going to assume that's what the green means on the mini map. Not really sure what's going to go here, but... Looking good. Uh, then we need... Oh, this is a garage. I don't know. Uh, we need the... What is it called? The this These things. There we go. Oh, new objects appeared. Awesome. But first, before I place any objects, what's that? Just wall finish? I want to paint the place. So this is its own room right here. What does this room need? Uh, tasks. So object by object. You don't need any painting in here. Okay. So you need painting in here. And then in here you need just floor tiles. Nothing in here. Okay. Wall finish for the this room. I'm not really sure where you're going with here. Oh, right here. Inspirations. Finally, I can have a separate room to take and edit my pictures. I need a well-lit spot with a nice backdrop. And a computer desk. That's for sure. Create cohesive aesthetics here. Okay. Uh, so you're kind of going with this. You want a nice backdrop and a nice place to edit photos. Not sure if it's the best idea to have me responsible for editing this place, but. Okay. Oh, you want to sell the garage door. Got it. Uh, so there you go. So, uh, you just, you just don't want a door there. Uh, let me look at the tasks again. The store. There we go. Ah, okay. So now that, that makes more sense. Uh, instead of having the garage here. What's that? Studio lights. You want an interior door and a bathroom door. So is one of these going to be a bathroom? What's going to be in here? Wardrobe, 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 light switch. So that's going to be a wardrobe. And this is going to be a toilet. Wow, that's a small potty. Okay. So, uh, bathroom door. We're just going to buy that now. We're going to give you cherry. No, let's go black wood. Clear window. Uh, we'll just go with that. There we go. 
And then we need another door for an interior door. We'll go with cherry. No, we'll go black. We'll just keep it all the same. That goes to the wardrobe. So let me get that. Nice. Now this room is like a backdrop for photos from the, my understanding. So we're going to get, let's see. We'll do sunny yellow or light biscuit. Let's do light biscuit. Then do you want any flooring in here? Light biscuit, we're gonna go with, huh? Let's go with these panels, see how they look. There we go, and let's see how the biscuit looks with it. Don't look too bad. We'll go with this.
Alrighty, everyone, and we are done. This house warehouse was a little bit complicated. I just did not like the placement of some things. I didn't have enough room in some areas with the layout. But we'll start with the upstairs. Here's the upstairs corridor. Uh, they just wanted a couch chair. I decided to tilt the chair just to make it look a little more neat and a lot more like a living area where you can just go and talk with your buddies or family or whatever. Then we got the wardrobe up here and they wanted two of these exercise machines. I just put them right there. I didn't know where to really lay them out at. And we got those lights and plants. Upstairs, we also got this bathroom. They only wanted 10 towels. So I just did those two towels and stuff left the left the rest brick. Wow. Well, I can speak. Uh, the shower was weird because it has a door, but you can just go into the side and walk out. Unless you go in, start your shower here, and then you get your towel right there and then you walk out. I'm not that fancy. I don't have that fancy of a shower, so it would be different if I did have that kind of shower, but you know, I don't. And then you got your toilet and your double sink. His and her sink, I guess. Uh, you got your bedroom right here with our golden. I like to put the golden stuff in the luxury DLC items. So we got the like, golden lamps, you got the golden uh, handles for the drawers, and the little nightstands, and a couple paintings. Not too much with the bedroom and we did paint the bedroom that color I forgot what the color name was but we replaced the stairs to gold handling or i think it was like it wasn't gold but it was like beige i believe got these plants down here did not know where to really place them uh we got these little lights got this corner couch i decided to turn it and have it kind of face the television like a little chill area with the electric fireplace below it not sure if that's really safe to have the fireplace there, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So that's where I had to go. And you got your tables and chairs right here. Kitchen I had issues with because I was trying to figure out how to place everything. Because right here, there's supposed to be a cabinet. But I had to block off the cabinet. You also block off the dishwasher in order to actually have room to place everything in here. So like I said, I had a difficulty because I felt like I didn't have enough room for some of the stuff they wanted. But I did make it work anyways. Open, close, okay. And then this is what we worked on in the very beginning. Uh, I was working on with you guys. We got that little chair right here, the work area, a uh, little window thing right there with a little seat, mirror. Then we got a little toilet, sink, nothing special in here. And they wanted wardrobes in here, which I found, I found difficult at first place in them. Like, some of the corner wardrobe is cut off, but I managed to work it so I can actually walk in here, kind of. But still such a small room for something like that. But yeah, that is it for this warehouse. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and look at the before and after shots. Let me get my screenshots ready and finish the job. Everything's done with $5,000 to spare. You can play 100. You may not complete the job for twenty nine thousand dollars. Hell yeah! Okay, that looks it looks good. That's why I turned on all the lights. Oh yeah, that looked nice too. See the before and after. It always makes me feel better, a lot better. Okay. Obviously, the outside is gonna look very nice, especially picking up all that trash and cutting the grass. Somehow that kind of rhymed, but we're going to work with it. And that is actually going to be it. I forgot you guys can actually see those screenshots because I'm using the desktop to record. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure what's to come. I kind of just decide what I want to record last minute right now until something new really catches my eye. And obviously, if you guys want to see something, always let me know and I'll make it happen. Because I like to play pretty much everything. But yeah, check out the description below for all the other socials. Join the Discord. Check out my Twitch. And until, if you like the content, like, subscribe, and or comment. Really helps with the videos. And until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next video or live stream. Love you guys.